Hey, what's up, y'all? I just saw this news article. It seemed to have some symbolism uh, regarding the end times <coughs> approaching. It says a massive great white shark headed to Texas. Uh, I live in Texas, but more like central Texas. But it just says that uh, there's a 2,300-pound great white shark. Um, anyway, it's it's about to reach Texas, and it's 100... Um, 40 miles west of Florida. Uh, but really, I just want to look at the numbers. 2,300, what is that? Uh, those of us who know the Bible, um, Daniel 8, uh, 13 in the KJV and 14. Then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto that certain saint which spake, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? And he said unto me, Unto two thousand and three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Okay? Um, and since it was last seen 140 miles west of Sarasota, Florida, I was um, <laughs> I was just looking at the numerology, because 14 is also right here. But look, it's, it's 13 feet long. And once again in the Bible, most of the time when it's a single number like that, um, it's the book of Revelation. First of all, in 14, it talks about the color white, like the great white shark. Uh, and I looked and beheld a white cloud, and upon the cloud one that sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. That sharp sickle is that shark. You know, he the 144,000 escape the shark. 2300 is the days of Daniel when it'll happen. And what is uh, in Revelation 14, it starts off with the 144,000. I sat, uh, and lo, and I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Sion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Okay, the it's not literally 144,000 people. Um, but anyway, I just saw the symbolism. And look at 13. It's a 13-foot shark, so guess what? It's the Revelation 13 beast. And I saw a beast rise up out of the sea. 13. Okay, with seven heads and ten horns. Okay. Um, the ten horns are the ten kingdoms that are going to invade the daughter of Babylon. I mean America. We got Mexico that can get Texas. And then we got the North Korea and Russia can come from D.C., and then we got, you know, who, who knows else coming on the West Coast after the flood. All right, so it's the Revelation 13 beast who comes after the 144,000 are taken, after the 2,300 days on a white cloud and used as the sharp sickle, the shark. Anyway, I just thought it was some interesting symbolism. Uh, I'm going to go back to watching my Jim Brown videos.